Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Limba, and today we are going to create drawing cloning templates. I mean, we are going to create cloning templates for our drawings. Now, if you take a look on the screen here, this is a simple drawing we, we generated, and we want all our rafters to copy the dimension style and the representation of the balls here, the way this one looks. So we ha we have to we want to modify or describe or give the construction instruction for the next step you're going to create. So you can see this has been created, but we, we, we don't see all the details here. So we want to add more details here so that we create a template so that when, you, when we create a similar drawing, all the details we've, we've pulled into inside here will be created from that for, for, from that particular member. And remember, you can only you can only clone a beam to a beam and you cannot create, you cannot clone a beam to a column or or clone vice versa that doesn't work beam goes with the beam a column goes with the column base plate goes with the base plate and uh, and and, uh, and the braces go with the, with the braces so you create all the templates or the cloning templates for those particular uh, sections so let's first of all uh, put some details here as our template for cloning other drawings similar to this so if i come here you can see this type of, of dimensions of dimensions normally create some confusion to some people who are not really conversant with with with, re, with reading drawings because if you see there's a hundred one 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 here there's one one here so which one is which so this is this is a cumulative dimensioning so you have to understand that you must be conversant with how with with the, with the design and draw and and with the designs and you'll be able to if you're conversant in short. If, if you're conversant with drawing interpretation interpretation so I'll, I'm, go, I'm going to change this to a conventional way of, 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 of the of dimensioning so I'll click modify and that will be able to to appear on that spot so you can see that has been has been uh, this has been marked and sitting it has been marked and just resting on top of our beam and we can give it an option by double clicking on it double click on it and this will come up and we want to change this how this is represented on our drawing also so now what we are going to do we are going to pick on we are going to go to general then pick on that drop down arrow and pick on that and give a, diff a different detailing here so i'm going to pick on this option here and pick on the arrow type i'm going to pick on this type and i'm going to select okay we will click modify and apply and give it an okay but you can see it's pointing at this far end so just hold it here and drag it and drag it so that's it and if you come here you can either elongate this and the dash sign means it's pointing on a, on, on a section or a part that is hidden that cannot be seen that's why you're seeing this har, har, uh, arrow is is dashed so if I come to a, a, diff, a different section here, I can do the same thing. If I, if I double click on that, and I'll be able to change this and give it a different uh, representation. Maybe you can give it that and come here and give it an arrow and click OK, apply and give it that. So if I drag that, you'll be able to see that is appearing on that section. And also this, I can do the same thing here. So that that is the approach, and this is how you can do that. How you can, but this is it's it's customizable. They only want your drawing to look like. So I'm going to pick on that, select on this, and place that arrow there, and click modify, apply, and give it an OK. So the text also you can change, but we don't want to get into that because it will take a lot of our time. So I'm going to change this dimensioning style and change that conventional, so that we have that in place. So the way my bolts have been represented here, I'm going to double click on it and give it a different uh, representation. Click modify and give it an OK right there. And we have our bolts taking a different uh, uh, face. So if I double click here and I will give it an arrow, I give an arrow there and come here and add an arrow and uh, I'll, I'll add an, a leader here and put and give it an arrow and click modify apply and give it an okay so if i select on it and slightly drag into position that uh, uh, it will be visible right there so that's okay to me that's okay for me and i'll double click here and change this one also if i come to symbol two i'll be able to change that 
So there, there are some details we are missing. We are missing. If I double click on this once again, let me just change prior to going to that step. I'll select on that, give it an, a leader here, and give the leader an arrow there to modify. Click and give it an acceptance there by clicking on OK button. So I want to drag this up or place it somewhere there. So that is OK. So the bolt representation here is not complete. I can change that to symbol two and click modify apply and give it an OK. So if I come here and double click that also, I'll be able to change this. I'll change that to that and give it a leader. I give my leader an arrow there and click modify apply and give it an OK. Drag that to that side. Perfect. Now there's some parts we are, we are leaving out. We've not seen the details of this haunch. This is the haunch side of the, of the column and this is the haunch side of the pitch. So if I click on this, then right click and come to add the single parts. I want to add some more details here. So I'll be able to select on that and then drag it and place it somewhere there and do the same thing here. Select on that, right click and come to create more single parts. So I'll be able to add that into this, into this section. And since we have this, we have this, we don't need that now. We have the, that detail here. So just select on it, right click and delete that. We don't need that. So if we select this plate, right click and, and add single parts, we'll be able to see those details here. I'll drag this, I'll drag it, place it somewhere there, and drag this and place it, place it somewhere here. Select on it and drag. Select it and press your left button in the mouse and you'll be able to drag that. So I'll double click on this and come to symbol two and change that. Perfect. So you can also change the dimension style and also, and also the text. So since we have this in place, so we don't need this. So what you can do, you can just get rid of that. Let's click delete and we have this in place. We can select on this, right click and, uh, and click properties and this will take us here and we can add a leader here instead of just uh, placing the name on top of the member and you can add an arrow here. Click modify, apply and give it an okay. So we can give it that uh, to be placed in that direction. Perfect. Now the other end, would be somehow similar. So let me just select on it, then right click and come to add assembly views, and this will be added. The reason being it's, it's tending to be bigger because this it's also tr trying to give the, de the details of this section, but we'll delete that. We only need this one. So I'll select on that and give it a space and create some space here and select on this also and drag it and fix it somewhere here. And remember also we can double click on this, press control, click on this, then double click on this so that we change them one go. Let's click symbol to apply and give it an OK and that has been created. So we can right click and come to properties right there and select on that, come to general, we, we change that to a leader and we give a leader and we give a leader an arrow pointing. The, the the part so we'll drag that to that section perfect so this is a basic template so we can save this we'll save this in place we save that so we want to go ahead and create we want to go ahead to create a drawing and and clone it with this so this will be our template so we've created our own template and we'll go ahead and clone our template with this so i'll show you how to clone that so we'll minimize this We'll minimize this or close this. Maximize that. So if I come here and pick on this particular, I'll come back to manager. If I if I if I let me maximize it first. If I double click on that on that drawing, I'll be able to open it and minimize this. So if I close this section of the drawing, if I close this drawing section, if I close this drawing section here, 
I'll, 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 I would have missed everything. So what I'm going to do is either to come back to come back to come back to my drawing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring back my drawing by coming to view and come back to view list and double click on the on the on the 3D and click OK and maximize that. So I want to create a drawing. So if I pick on this, right click and come to and once I've clicked on it, I'll come to my drawing list. I'll come to my drawing list here. I'll click on drawing list and pick on the on the I'll pick on the drawing manager. So I'll pick this. So the moment I pick on that, the moment I pick on it, I'm going to clone it with this drawing. So I'm going to select on it. But another way you can do if you minimize that, the moment you right click and come to create drawings, you can click clone drawing. If you click clone drawing, you'll be taken to you, you, you'll be taken to our 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 cloning template. So what we'll do, we'll just close that and first of all maximize our our drawing. So to go there, just press Control L to go back to uh, Control to drawing list. So we've selected on this drawing. So we're going to select on this. So the moment you select on this, you'll be able to click clone. Select on this drawing and click clone. So that will bring this dialog box that we saw previously. So if you go ahead and click clone selected, so go ahead and click clone. So we'll let it run and process all those drawings. So if you close this now and uh, maximize this, you'll be able to see drawing was cloned. So let's see if it has, it has picked some properties that we, we created uh, before. So let, let me just double click on that and minimize this and see what has been created. Exactly the same thing has been created and in the same position. So let's check further, come back to drawing and check the first one. So if, do you want to change anything? Will you just remain the same? Do you want to ch keep the changes? We'll keep, just keep the changes right there. So I'll minimize this. And you'll find the drawings look more the same, exactly the same. So that's how you clone your template in Tekla Structures. And thanks a lot. And let's meet then. And bye bye. Please don't forget to also get some advanced training in Tekla Structures by going to Udemy. Just type Mods Dimba on Udemy and search for my courses right there. You'll get some intense training in Tekla Structures. And thanks a lot. And bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel again. Bye again.